Hello everyone, my name is Gita, and welcome to your Pick a Card reading. So, the title of this video is going to be, What are their current thoughts about you? But before we get started, I just want to say that if you like this video and you would like for me to make more of them, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you would like to get a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. And also in the video description is where you'll find your timestamps. So this is going to be stone number one, and these are actually Merkabas, and this is a rose quartz, and this is going to be stone number two, and this is a green stone, uh, probably a venturine. Stone number three, I think this one's yellow, a venturine, and this one's clear quartz. So one, two, three, and four. <laughs> I might just call them by their colors. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. They're new, okay? I also got these. I got these pyramid things, so... Trying to get different shapes for you. These are a little bit small, but this is as big as they can get, and I can't really zoom it in because if I zoom it in, then you won't be able to see the cards, and I think the cards matter more. By the way, I would prefer it if you'd used your pendulum to pick, if you would like to know how to use the pendulum. I have like this thing right here, but you don't have to do it like this. I have it like this that I can that I can use, but you don't have to have that. <clears throat> but when you get your pendulum you have to kind of like program it at first for some of you might have to I don't really have to all the time but you just swing it like this and go this is the way for yes and this is the way for no and then you ask is there a message for me with stone number one about whatever your person's name is and so it would swing yes or no and then you would know so if it says no then it's not Okay, if they all say no, then there's not going to be a message for you. And that's true for all pick a cards, by the way, not just mine. And it is possible to get pick a cards without a message for you. And don't take it, you know, bad. Just move on to the next pick a card. It's not a big deal. Anyways, now that I've said that, let's go ahead and get started. And let's find out what their current thoughts are about you. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number one with the um, rose quartz. And let's go ahead and find out what your person's current thoughts are about you. So I am I did it in a pile. I thought, what the heck, I'll do it a little different. It looks kind of neat. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I don't know if some of you like it that I have them already laid out. Or if you like watching people lay them out. I would like to know what you think about it. Anyway, so we have the Four of Swords. We have the Emperor and the Reverse. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, these are for the Tarot. We have the Magician, clarifying the Four of Swords. We have the King of Wands in the reverse, clarifying the Emperor. And we have the Ace of Wands, clarifying the Eight of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> All right. Then I have a bunch of Oracle cards. So I have number 25, Learning. Then I have number 52, the Magical Map Shifter. And these are, that one's a kind of new one, so. I have some new Oracle cards, so I'll be reading from the book for some of you guys. And then trying to interpret it. So we have number 10, Unfinished Symphony. I already know pretty much what that one is. Then we have Attachment. Yeah, in the reverse, number 5. And we have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, so what's going on here? All right, so it looks like they're, right now, I feel like they're, they're wanting to take some kind of action towards you soon. But they're kind of meditating. They're kind of thinking about what, how they're going to do that. There's been some kind of situation, though. Because both of these cards mean the same thing. It's like this is kind of a, a positive with a little bit of negativity in it. This person, it seems, has some kind of, like, emotional issue where they have difficulty managing their emotions. 
And right now they're learning how to manage those emotions. And that's another thing that they're concentrating out on. They're, they're trying to learn how to like, I feel like it's intense. Like, um, like some of them might have a bit of a temper. Some might be possessive or controlling. And I feel like they're aware of it. And they're actually trying to learn how to control that. They don't really, they're not thinking, they don't really want to walk away from you, but they are maybe trying to avoid you at the moment. But they still do want to have a new start, okay? They're trying, they're starting to gain some inspiration over your situation. They're starting to gain passion, okay, and inspiration over it. It's just that they're trying, right now it seems like they're trying to learn how to manage their emotions. I don't think that they're really trying to walk away from you though, because it does seem to be a heart to heart conversation that needs to take place. So you can honestly discuss your feelings. I fairly feel that this person needs to honestly discuss and tell you that they're trying to learn and manage their emotions. So I think that a heart to heart conversation could be um, needed, you know, and I think with that is going to come passion, you know, it's going to be a very passionate conversation. I, I really, really want to read that. <laughs> Alright, so let's read number five. Attachment in reverse. I'm, I'm like thinking, is it what does it mean what I think it means? That's what I'm basically trying to figure out. Alright, this card reversed is a wonderful indicator that an old negative pattern, relationship, or desperate or desperate attitude is being released. See, that's what I'm saying here. That's like, that's like right here. And this right here, this card is about learning how to manage your emotions. As you continue to let go, you will be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others. So it's not like just attachment, but also when I'm like reading this card with attachment, I don't know. I also, I'm feeling like controlling, like they're, like they're attached to a certain way of being. That's why they're trying so hard to control the situation, but they're not really like they're trying they're trying to release like wanting to try to control everything it says the universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach but be sure to support the changes you're making and on your in your ongoing choices some patterns can be deeply encoded and you may need to continue releasing the old habits all the while honoring new decisions in your thoughts actions and, and interactions with others you're bro you've broken the chains and now you can walk away from limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future. So what I'm really getting into this is, this, is that the reason, part of the reason why they're being so controlling and they're thinking this too, is that they're being so controlling over the situation is because they're just so attached to like how things are going to be. Like they're attached to an idea. And when you're doing that, it's just so hard to like manifest what you want in your life. You, cause like you have a certain way to be, if you're attached to a certain way to be, even if it ends up coming into like fruition in, in a way that you want it to be, if you can still end up being disappointed because you're attached to it being a certain way and it didn't turn out exactly a certain way, you know, but either way, it doesn't help like a t releasing attachment to, especially a certain outcome when it comes to a situation helps it manifest. So I want to go ahead and read number 52. I'm basically trying to read the ones that I don't know that great. So I hope you can excuse me. So I have read this a couple times and I'm like, uh, I can't remember. All right, spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be. And basically what I'm really feeling like with you is that that's what this person does. Like that's what you've done for this person is that this person is making you want them want to become a better version of themselves. And it's helping to highlight and to, and to, um, to like show the things that are the problem and, and that they need to fix it within themselves. It says, or someone who leads you out of difficulty into a place of safety and success. Pay attention to these individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware and you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. That's, and that's what I'm really feeling like this person is really feeling like, I feel like there might have been even maybe some issues with you guys. So what I'm feeling is that because this person has been so controlling, they might have some temper, they might have some kind, they have some kind of maybe manipulative, some kind of tendencies that are maybe like kind of narcissistic or something like that. And 
this person's saying I'm he they're realizing that they're coming off like this and they're like they don't want to come off like that they don't want to be like that and they're trying to take the steps in order to improve that about themselves it says the magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself so this is what I'm really feeling like they are really feeling this about you that you're like this person who helps make you them into a better version of themselves and isn't that really what healthy relationships really do you know so if they're not really communicating with you or anything right now or you're not really in contact give them don't be afraid to give them more time so they can actually like get themselves and they they can learn to to control their emotions so they don't mess everything up basically <laughs> by trying to control things so well all right so we have unfinished symphony it pretty much means what it says it's like this one's like unfinished business an incomplete lesson a lack of closure a need to make amends it's like this is a time to tie up loose ends at the near as you near the completion of a cycle okay so there is like a completion of a cycle that is going going th through going on with you guys this per this is kind of like the world but like in the reverse because it's unfinished okay and is saying before you can move forward it's important that you come to terms with where you are now practice radical acceptance so that's something that they're really trying to do as well take inventory that that, that emotional and psychological closure can occur the answers you seek will be found you can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished reflect on what has passed which is reflection right here so that the symphony can finally end on a high note so this person is actually becoming really aware of their behavior and the negative things that they're doing and they're really trying to learn to control themselves before they can take any further steps with you however you know before you know it you're going to be having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations which is going to be leading to some passion so anyways that's what their current thoughts are about you if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number two. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number two. With I'm pretty sure this is venturing. I pretty much make these almost all out of venturing. I think it's easier to come by. All right, and let's see what their current thoughts are about you. All right, so we have the Empress in the reverse. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, and then we also have First Chakra, Archangel Michael in the reverse. We have You Deserve Love. We have Let Your Friends Help You. All right, and then we got extra one of this one. And I had, after I read them, as soon as I read them together, I knew I had to keep them together. So I got, we have respect. And then right after that came out, right after it was boundaries. So like, if you think about it, it's respect boundaries. Let's see if I can put it in here, you can still see it. Then we have, we have coming apart in reverse number 46. I could fit it there. And then we have number 11 by the book. So I do have some, some of these are new for me. Some of these Oracle cards are new for me. So I'll be reading some of them by the book. <laughs> All right. So right now this entire reading the reason why i left these in reverse is because that is this is right here is exactly these are the first cards i drew and this is exactly what it's screaming it's screaming respect my boundaries they are really thinking that that you need to respect their boundaries 
we have the Empress in the reverse. That's about when someone's feeling kind of burnt out. They're feeling like they're being smothered, okay? And with the Six of Cups, and they're trying to like, they're, I feel like they're trying to like release this feeling. Um, they keep thinking about how they, they're just like, they just feel so smothered by you. And it's making them feel like, maybe like that they've tried to say something to you before. I feel like they, they, they know that you're like feeling not very happy about the situation. Like you're really wanting attention. Okay, you're not getting recognition for what you're, the things that you're, they see this. But right now, it's kind of making them, it's like blocking their, in, their feelings. And they're thinking about giving up on the situation. So maybe try to work on, um, like, look up some ways to learn how to curb codependent behavior or something like that. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, when we're chasing and we're just trying so hard to go after somebody and we're in, and you're, um, really feeling insecure and, and you're, you're just wanting to uh, be with them, be with them, be with them. It's just too much for a lot of people. And if anything, it pushes them away. So they are thinking, I mean, that you do deserve love. And I feel like it's trying to say that they do love you. You're lovable. They see you as somebody who's lovable. <clears throat> But honestly, what I'm getting out of this, let your friends help you, is just ask for for and accept support from others. So it's not like you you might need, feel like you need the attention. They are thinking that you feel like you need attention. And, you know, I think that they would also like to spend time with their own friends and then also spend time with and have you spend time with theirs. They just really, they just want some space. Okay, so I'm going to read this one, Coming Apart in Reverse. Number 46 in Reverse. Coming Apart. It says, A situation is unraveling and your best plans are leading you into a tricky maze. Your challenge is to separate out of elements of this puzzle to get a better perspective on what happened. Because I feel like like it's like things were going pretty good and everything. And they're kind of confused on what happened, you know. You may have lingered too long at a place where you didn't belong anymore, seduced by a temporary solution. As you untangle yourself, it's important to maintain a sense of humor. Don't fret, you will learn something valuable that you'll need, you'll need later when faced with a more dangerous situation. Breathe and know that you are loved. So you are loved and everything. And, and they just... I don't feel like like this is like they want to reject you or anything. They just like, oh, they just need some space. Okay. I want to read this one. So I have no clue what that means. <laughs> 35 in reverse for, for Chakra Archangel Michael. Okay, it said stability and security, but it's in the reverse. It says, when this card shows up in a reverse position, you may be facing some significant challenge and e challenges and even some difficult emotions. So, yeah, I'm really feeling like, see here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, they're feeling a lot of difficult emotions right now because right now it's like their feelings are blocked because they just need a break. You know, the energy in your first chakra may be blocked, revealing potential fears about your safety, feelings of insecurity, or even depression. They might be feeling this about you as well. They, they're thinking of you being this way. It says this blocked energy could also signal financial worry or, de or desperation. Okay. So it's like you're coming off as desperate to them. You know. It says issues of instability can shake you to your very core. So it's going to be important to get to the, get the energy moving freely through the chakra again. Call upon Michael for assistance and visualize this, his light and power filling this area. And bringing you to a greater sense of your own true strength and eternal stability. Meditate on your affirmation below and you and feel your sense of safety and balance return. And the affirmation is, my first chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am strong, stable, safe, and secure. The Archangel Michael guides and supports me always. So I think that is the message for you there. So, But they're also thinking of not thinking Archangel Michael is going to clear your chakra, but they're thinking in this way. And then we have the book. And this one is like abiding by social rules. 
conformity, respecting cultural or family custom and universal laws. So this is a card, this card is also about boundaries and respecting boundaries, like abiding by social rules, you know, respecting cultural, it's like respecting. That's what it even says here, respect, respecting boundaries. For some of you, that could also include respecting cultural rules. It says the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles, the purpose that, that I'm sorry, that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, and the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. <clears throat> this is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. So, that, what I was saying before, how, like, whenever you're trying to get something and you're chasing after it, you end up pushing it away, and that is what it's also highlighting here. The universal laws, the laws of attraction. If you're so, if you're like chasing and chasing, and you're trying to force things and everything, there you're just going to end up pushing it away. It says, when this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. So basically, that is what they're thinking about you. I'm sorry it couldn't have been more positive. However, I mean, it's good to know this now without them telling you. Hopefully they haven't told you this by now. And maybe it gives you like a heads up to kind of, you know, give them a little bit of space and maybe things will start turning up and instead of this Ace of Cups being in the reverse, it'll be in the upright. All right, so anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number three. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number three with the Merkaba-shaped yellow aventurine. And let's go ahead and find out what their current thoughts are about you. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups and the Reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. And then clarifying the Ace of Cups and Reverses, we have the Five of Swords and the Reverse. We have the King of Cups and the Reverse, clarifying the Two of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Six of Swords. Then we have sensitivity, orphaned, and into the unknown. We got extra cards. Yeah, okay, these will fit here. And then we have release your ex, healing family issues. And yes, this person is your soulmate. And we also have First Chakra Archangel, Archangel Michael in the upright. So there's like a little mixture of things going on here. I'm going to read number seven, this one right here. And these are, some of these cards are new for me. So I'm learning them. So I'm sorry if you don't like hearing me read them, but I want to make sure you get the correct message. And while I'm reading them, I am going to, of course, be interpreting them, what my impressions are intuitively about them. Because there is some sensitivity and the, uh, there's some kind of abandonment issues going on here. And I'm trying to figure out I, if they're thinking that you're the person with this situation or they are. I'm feeling there, there's a lot of you that it's them. I, I mean, that they're, they're the ones who's being feeling orphaned by you. Okay, so you have to take it whatever it resonates, though. 
All right, so into the unknown, trust, and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure, and often we, new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times you're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into the unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be saved, safe, stay away from your, stay aware, my, my bad, stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. There's a big difference between stay aware and stay away. <laughs> That's not stay away. Okay. But, I mean, that's the thing, though, if you think about it. They think that you're going to stay away. That's what I'm getting. They think, I don't know, if you're with somebody, it's just going to go back and forth. I'm feeling for It's going to be a little different for everybody. Because somebody has an ex. Somebody has someone they have to release. And... They feel like, they feel unloved, okay? They feel defeated, okay? And this is self-defeat. This is all in their head, okay? And this, the Ace of Cups isn't because the feelings are blocked. It's because they're abundant. They're, this person's having a massive amount of feelings, but they're not neg they're not positive feelings. They're having negative feelings. And with the Two of Pentacles, they're hiding it well on the outside, okay? But with the King of Cups in the reverse, clarifying it, it's showing that this is the king of cups in the reverse is like massive like massive like very intense negative feelings now it is saying with a wheel of fortune that luck is on their side they will move away from it but this person right here they're they're having a difficulty trusting okay they're having difficulty trusting the situation okay they're having difficulty trusting with the soulmate issue. Also, I mean, a lot of the problems that could be going on could be obviously having to do with healing family issues. And with the family issues could be that there's an ex and there's some children involved or something. There's some kind of family bonds that are possibly being broken. All right, so now I'm going to read number five, Orphaned. And this card right here, and it says the essential meaning is a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in. They need to belong, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. So this is how they're feeling right now. And I'm feeling it's being directed as you, as you having this X situation, that you need to release your X <clears throat> for a lot of you. It says we were all meant to have connections with other people within our family, society, and the larger culture. No man is an island, and it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is that is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group of community or community the way you did before and need to find a new solution, a new situation. See, so it's saying that they, like, that they're thinking that, you don't fit into any like any certain kind of group or something i feel like there's supposed to be a changing there is a changing of like with this x and the fa healing family issues it says you might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion so this person's really confused they're feeling a sense of loss maybe they're not sure if you're really going to release your ex or release the per maybe you're somebody Maybe they, they think that you're going to be with them or something, but they're not sure. Maybe that on the outside it looks like you're still with the person or something like that. Now, don't be afraid to switch it around. It's not impossible that it's going to be them who needs to release the X. So just to keep that in mind. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss. Okay, I already read that part. Address the need of, for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. And that's what I'm really feeling like. They're feeling orphaned, but they're also feeling that you're feeling orphaned. There's a little bit of mirroring going on here for sure. I think that it gets tricky to read, doesn't it, when it happens like that. So that's, but that is very common in soulmate and twin flame readings 
you know, so I'll see lots of mirroring. It's like, this is freaking confusing. And sometimes it helps, you know, I have my own twin flame situation. And it does help me be able to identify the different energies a little bit better. But it's still confusing AF, right? All right, so I've got the wrong book in my hand. All right, let's try this again. Number 35. All right, first chakra, Archangel Michael, stability and security. So this reading is about this about this person. They're feeling like there's not a lot of stability and security. You don't have a very solid foundation with this person. It says Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. Is showing the picture. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges at, are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you and bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path, so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. Hmm. So I feel like that is kind of like for both of you. I'm really feeling that one. So let me know in the comments below who it is the X is being released. But either way, your person is feeling very sensitive about the situation. They are actually feeling orphaned themselves while you're actually feeling orphaned, I'm feeling too. And I feel like you're both possibly even nervous about going into the unknown of the future. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to stone number four. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number four with the clear quartz Merkaba. And let's find out what your person is currently thinking about you. All right. So we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. We have the Eight of Cups. And we also have number 15, Growth. We have number 21, Clean It Up. We also have number 23, Peaks of Joy. And we got a bonus card in this one too. We got You Deserve Love and Getting to Know Each Other. I don't know, scoot these over enough. More room. There we go. Now we can fit. So you can fit a lot of things in your life if you just make a little room. Then we have Anxiety number 18. That's the same. That's pre that's right here. Nine of Swords. And then we have caring connections and the reverse. And I've actually never read these two. These are new new oracle cards for me. So I'm gonna be reading those. So what is this person's current thoughts about you? You know, basically, this is reflecting of a person who is really happy. They're really happy and they feel like they're getting everything that they're wanting and that, but they're afraid. They're, they're starting to get afraid because they're afraid they're going to lose it. I kind of want to see this growth one really quick.
Yeah, they're, they, with growth, I'm really seeing that it's like, this is about them like looking deep within themselves. They're doing this. I feel like this is like a lot of shadow work that's going on. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start off by reading this one. Number 21, clean it up. And yeah, I'm feeling like this is what they're thinking in in relation to you. For most of you, now it's not going to be completely impossible. Some of you are going to end up picking up some of this stuff. It's going to some of the energies can go back and forth and get muddled together. So take it however it resonates. You know, just remember that this is a general reading. All right, so number 21, clean it up. And the central meaning for this card is getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. So this person is doing like all this, they're like worrying, they're having all this anxiety, they have, carrying connections in the reverse. I imagine it has something, you know, they're feeling undeserving of love. They're not sure if they deserve the connection. They're really happy. You're like a wish come true, but they have all this anxiety and fear. They feel emotionally vulnerable, and they also feel like maybe like like they're not you're not they're not getting any recognition for the things that they've done. They're thinking about actually backing down from the situation, and they might you know want to think about running away at least for a short period of time if they don't get there they might take some time to look inwards they might have some avoidant behavior for a time because this person's feeling a very vulnerable and they're not very comfortable with it okay so it says ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight could be surrounded by a physical clutter in your home also too much work overwhelmed time to clean house every item out of place natters away at you Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack. See, there's like, it's really saying right there. Takes up energetic space, every unpaid bill that just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now it's time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. So I'm really feeling like they're actually in this process of cleaning up. You know, they're in this process of growth at the moment. And it, I feel like it might not even seem like it right now, but we have peaks of joy here. And that's number 33. All right, it says, joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and you've worked hard for it. So they're actually working on not just that, they're working on being happy and learning how to be, to make themselves happy. That's what they're like in the passive of, of growth here. And I don't know, there's something that is like, you're kind of making them trigger, they're, you're triggering them, them all of these feelings because, because they, they're actually, you make them so happy and so excited. And you're like this, like this amazing thing that they never think that they could ever achieve. Like you're so amazing. Like you're way better than they ever thought that they could ever achieve or any, someone who they could ever get romantically. Where was I? Okay. All right. So no matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and that you've worked hard for it. You've surrounded, you're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronously arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. So they are receiving like synchronicities about your connection. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Like gratitude, fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. So I'm really feeling like it's saying this is supposed to be about what they're thinking. And they're thinking about how happy that you make them. I'm really thinking that they love you. Okay, but they're having issues with the feeling that they're they deserve to be loved. All right, number 18. These are new oracle cards, so I'm reading them, I'm learning them. It's how I learn them. It says the woman on this card is filled with anxiety. Here, I might as well show it to you since it's talking about what she's doing. 
worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card upright may indicate that this is what they're going through, their person. You're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself broading about much of the time. So this person is actually think thinking about the situation. However, if you'll notice the scene outside the window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. I can attest to that. But that's what they're going through, this, this anxiety. Right, number 14. All right, Karen Connections, friendship, partnership of two, possible love. That's like the two of cups almost. This in reverse. This card reverse signals a break in communication or a parting of ways of, of for two people. See, that's what I was saying before with this eight of cups. I feel like that's what like something that they're doing or something, but it's not because they don't love you or anything like that. It's because they do and they don't feel worthy of your love. And it's not just of your love, of any love. Uh, they have this really sense they're having like this hard problem with self this like difficult problem with self-worth and they're working on cleaning them like fixing themselves up they're like doing a lot of shadow work it says whether romantic social or business the pre the present connection seems to be or at or close to an end if this is the case consider what healthy healthy action needs to be taken to move on as difficult as parting may be it can often lead to bigger and better things keep in mind both the logical logistical and emotional aspects of leaving this connection behind make plans vent your feelings always remember it with every ending and it says vent your feelings maybe you should with every ending a new beginning is, in, is at hand but you know it also says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so I'm really feeling like you need to go ahead and have a serious conversation with this person and tell them how you're feeling before they actually run off because they're actually thinking about it. I don't think they're actually at that point yet. Hopefully they're not in your connection at this moment, but I think that it's time to like do something to voice how they're really, you got to do something to help calm their fears. But it does say to actually vent your feelings. So I would suggest possibly venting your feelings in this situation. I don't think that always works for everyone, but I think in this case, this person does love you and I think that they need some affirmations. Anyways, I hope you like this kind of reading. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description box below. All right, well, thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.